What the fellowship gives you is an understanding of the industry and how the industry works. The fellowship gives you exposure to a variety of uh, different areas. It offers you an opportunity to really get a footing in the professional world. The Rutgers Fellowship Program gave me that mix of business and science that I was looking for that I couldn't find in any of the, program or the other programs. It allows you to build and refine skills such as medical writing, medical research, uh, communications. So I felt like that two-year period really helped me um, make myself that much more prepared to enter the work world. What this fellowship program provides you is an opportunity to network with different fellows and different functional departments, as well as alumni who have already graduated from this program. When you're a fellow, you're viewed as someone who provides value to the team. You can do anything from medical information, medical affairs, regulatory, marketing, commercial, clinical. A graduate of this fellowship program really has the beginning skills to work across all those particular areas. If you can stretch yourself and reach out to those different line functions and learn more about what they do, it really brings all the pieces of the puzzle together. That's the whole purpose of a fellowship training experience, to give you intensive training uh, under excellent guidance to allow you to become an independent and creative thinker. One of the greatest experiences I've had is working closely with several mentors in my department. And working with these mentors, they really want to focus on having you build your skill sets so that you're able to work independently and accelerate within the pharmaceutical industry when you enter the field. It's exceeded my expectations and I see it going even in a you know, better direction, in a bigger direction, as the fellowship continues. We put a very heavy emphasis on doing scholarly activities such as publications, posters, and continuing medical education presentations as part of the fellows training. This program is particularly challenging, and it's challenging for a reason. We want individuals to work on the edge of their comfort zone. One year or two years of a fellowship program uh, is, is like three to five years of work experience. It, it just fit my personality, it fit my goals, and the Rutgers Fellowship was beyond anything that I could imagine. But being able to transition from a student into the professional world is kind of scary, but the program offers a lot of resources and people to help you in that transition. It presented this opportunity for me to step up and, and get involved with a lot of things that I maybe wouldn't have had. I saw a lot more, I think, than I would have through a typical fellowship. The best part of learning in a fellowship is you're in a training program, it's your opportunity to see and learn as much as you possibly can that will hopefully enrich your career down the line. So starting out with this great network of you know, the fellows, there's over, uh, almost 100 of us now, plus the over 700 alumni, it just starts you off with a, a great network of people that are willing to advocate for you on the skills and the expertise that you've gained in your fellowship. For example, in the past month I was working on a business development opportunity all by myself. Um, and just kind of seeing if it was a commercially viable option for our company. I love my fellowship experience. I, I think it's the best decision that I've ever made. This program uniquely invests in their fellows in many different ways. In the pharmaceutical company that you're at, you have your preceptor, you have mentors, and you have people really advocating for your development. Within my department, they're really allowing me to lead projects now as a second year fellow. I'm really taking ownership of those projects. We work on activities uh, that build on our key skill sets. Uh, that could be communication skills, uh, could be uh, how to effectively hold a meeting, and I think these are all skills that are necessary when you're entering the pharmaceutical industry. We also have other training programs, uh, Myers-Briggs, self-analysis types of programs, uh, dining etiquette, dressing for success, how to manage an international meeting. All of these, what some might call soft skills, are very important skills when you layer the solid foundation that they get at the university. The other thing I really loved about the Rutgers program was we used to call them PDDs, Professional Development Days, where we'd actually get to go back all the fellows together and you know, we'd have a whole day of training about regulatory affairs or clinical research. And even though I was a strategy person, at the end of my fellowship I had a very good understanding of so many different areas of the pharmaceutical industry because of the PDDs. Rutgers has the program honed down and also offers a diversity of different options based on your interest. For me, it's just been a really good learning opportunity to just get a better 
idea of what they do day to day and how it fits into the bigger picture. And most importantly, I think it zeroes back into yourself. It helps you, you know, grow as an individual, like learn things about you that you perhaps didn't know or refine things that you knew and perfect them in a whole different capacity. So the PDD sessions, those professional development days are so ideal and so key to the Rutgers Fellowship Program that I think that's truly what makes it from here. As some of our fellows say, our program is the best of the best. I like to believe that it is. I welcome you to come and join us and help continue our trajectory as we move further and further on this very exciting journey as we create new and innovative roles for pharmacists in the pharmaceutical industry.